on the unit sales. The word that's tossed around is ecosystem over at Janney Capital Markets that just raised their price target. What is ecosystem? Well, it's all the interrelated participants, uh, whether it's the media owners, whether it's um, advertisers, um, you know, developers uh, of apps, obviously. And, and to the extent that uh, everyone has to think about Apple first when they're building something, whether you're designing an ad, how's it going to look on an iPad, how's it going to look on an iPhone? I mean, that's just an example of how they touch everybody. So in a way, Apple is the new HTML. If they're, if they're setting the standard that everybody else has to design to, then they get to set the standard. They have a lot of power. I mean, so take Yahoo, which also reported yesterday. One of the things that a lot of investors are hoping for is that Yahoo becomes the default search engine. So oh, that come on. That's, that's ludicrous versus Google. That's what Yahoo would like. Oh, that's just their dream. Well, I mean, I'd like but, a Pulitzer Prize. It, it, <laughs> I want to talk about use of cash here in a minute, but in your world, is there anything but Apple? Who's designing for Android? Who, what are the other ones? Well, everyone does. No, Olivia Help. Samsung, Nokia. HTC, Huawei. Oh, no, no, no. To be clear, this is a duopoly situation. You can't ignore Android okay, either. Okay, fair. You, if, you're, if you're a developer or anyone else, I mean, poor Microsoft, poor BlackBerry, mm -hmm. I mean, because those guys are just afterthoughts. Okay, There's here's a, a number, Scope and Scope. Olivia, I want you to jump in here. This, I think, shows <laughs> the dynamics of what they're doing. They made $60 billion dollars in free cash flow, that is double what they did four or five years ago, and that's off capital expenditures that are tripled. It's wild. They, they, I've never seen this. I have truly never seen this. I've got one for you. They're sitting on a cash pile of $178 billion. That could buy all but 19 companies in the S&P 500. So the question we're asking today in our Twitter question today is, has Apple peaked? Uh, everybody wants to know, where is, how can this growth cycle continue? I have a quote here from Gene Munster, uh, an analyst at Piper Jaffrey, saying that Apple will, quote, definitely keep cooking for the next couple of quarters. Get it? Cooking. Uh, get it? Yeah, get it. Uh -huh. important point, though, they've been very focused, right? And this is a contrast between Apple and Google. Imagine if Google had decided not to focus on things outside of advertising. And this is one of the main knocks on Google. It's really dragged on it. And we'll hear about it maybe more tomorrow when they report. But the fact is that they're spending so much money on things unrelated to their core business. Apple that, is. No, Google. Oh, yes, As a contrast. Yeah. The contrast. Apple very focused. And right. that's a huge difference. When you look at this, and you give me some more. You've done so much work on this. <laughs> give me another factoid here within your... You work, I mean, I mean, China you have the, was you have a the huge China thing. That's, that's uh, I do. I want to bring scale, up China. How about this one? The scope and scale of China was unreal. 18 billion works out to 556 dollars for every American. So yes, the China market is because. Did you know that Apple's biggest market is China? It's not actually the U.S. That said, they have less than 10 percent of the market. But we have a chart that shows you how Apple stacks up to some of its competitors in China, and it shows that the only tech company there in white that's actually growing is Xiaomi. Apple's market share in China is falling which is interesting, but this is where, you know, if it can sustain this juggernaut growth, it's going to come from is the Chinese but market. But Brendan, to yeah. Brian's world, this is about a premium product with premium profits. That's true. Here, bring that, that exception. Absolutely. Right. Bring that China chart up again, because when you look at the homegrown companies, Lenovo and Xiaomi, the market share they're stealing is not Apple's. They're stealing Samsung's. Right. They're it's stealing at the low point. end, what? and Apple is tootling along there at uh, 7%. Brian Weezer, in your world, what does this say about doing premium, doing best? I mean, they own it. Yeah, I think that's safe to say. But I think that it's also important to remember you need the mass market still if you want to really drive a total ecosystem. Does Apple have a mass market? <laughs> They're on the edge of it. I mean, they have, the, they have all the premium or the most of the premium, and they push into the mass market. But that's why there's still a massive opportunity for uh, at least one or maybe two other players. And wait till Xiaomi gets going in the United States. You say they're setting the standard that everybody has to design to, but the knock on Apple is they make really great devices. They're not so good with the software. Does that need to be fixed? I don't think so. Well, actually, you say they're not so good with the software, but again, the App Store, mm -hmm. record-setting yeah. quarter for the App I mean, Store as well. If that was its own free company, I'm just huge. Exactly. I'm if thinking. iTunes was its own free company, that would be enormous. Tim Cook said on the call, yeah. nearly one billion Apple products are out there on the markets. I know we're hyperventilating over this, but yep. it's because, as Tom said, it's totally oh. unprecedented. Oh, here's we're hyperventilating. Tim Cook wrote, said this volume is hard to comprehend. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Cook that, that's know. correct. And what the distinction, Olivia, which you bring up brilliantly, is it's not about product or fanboy or fangirl appledom. It's about, and, and this Carl, Carl even goes to economics, the cash generation of this We've never seen. Right. Not no. at Exxon, not at Standard Oil. I mean, Carl, I mean, it becomes part of the American ecosystem to have this digital ecosystem. Absolutely. And if Apple 
is serious about research and development, which clearly they right. uh, put a very high uh, priority on product design. I mean, this is like a, a Cold War arms race against the other manufacturers. <laughs> they cannot compete if Apple is dumping this money into R&D. Except can you can only spend so much. This is the discipline that they have versus what Google's doing. They're investing a lot of R&D in a lot of things like space and balloons over New Zealand and totally unrelated. It's true. Yeah. There, there's no Apple X space company. I'm wondering if Apple can afford to buy Greece. That, see, this is... Can they? <laughs> they can buy their debt, that's for sure. What we're struggling with right now is is sort of comparisons to describe the scale of this. We've got the Cold War, we've got Standard Oil.